So this is video about how to add dynamic music into your Unity project without using FMOD or Vice or any other middleware. You need to download two scripts from my repository on GitHub and save it to your project. Then you need to add empty game object on the scene, call it for example music timeline. Open Timeline Manager and move it where you want it to be and create Timeline for Music Timeline object. Add Music Timeline Manager script, uncheck Play on Awake, change Update Type to DSP Clock and Wrap Mode to Loop. Add two audio tracks to Timeline and add empty game object as a child of music timeline as a track one. Also you need to attach track script. Uncheck play on awake and set volume to zero. Set volume base to any number between zero and one, depend on how loud the track will be played. In my case it will be one. Duplicate the track and check Unmute in first track. Open Timeline and add tracks as audio source for Timeline audio tracks. You should know that you should have at least one perfect music loop for use it as a base for your Timeline. For this demonstration I took music from Unity Beginners Code project and I wrote some additional layers for this music. You need to add this music to Timeline. Check Timeline Preferences. It should show seconds and duration mode should be based on clips. Any track you add should have duration equal or less than bass track or bass loop. I add additional layer of music and as you see I shorten it to be equal to bass track. If you play Timeline now, you shouldn't hear any sound. If you need to play the track within Unity Editor, you need to change audio source volume to 1, but don't forget to return it back to 0, or you will experience a pop-up sound when game starts. For the purpose of demonstration, I put a trigger box in the scene. Music Timeline has a delegate that switch on and off specific track of music. I already made flip-flop function that turn it off and on music on trigger enter. So you just need two lines of code to make music fade out or fade in. While I was making this video, I changed the scripts a little bit. So now all child tracks of music timeline automatically fills its array of tracks. And you have a checkbox for randomizing additional layers of music. This is how it can sound in gameplay.